Let's continue to make our uh, detection of finger movement, right, from a block, from a square to the destination square. Let's change that to our uh, useful um, gesture to get ready for our future. So how can we pass this information to the another object, right? Uh, so eventually we'll control the movement of the um, the rotation of the Rubik's Cube. So this is our view class. So in the model view, MVC, uh, model view controller um, design pattern, um, the view cannot talk to model uh, directly. But we need this, this message, right? Or this command, the rotation, uh, to get to the model object eventually. So um, the idea is we'll create, we'll let the controller know this. Let's create a protocol, something like app, app delegate. So we'll create our Rubik's cube delegate, maybe just cube delegate. Okay, so let's create a new file. Swift file, yeah. Let's use Rubik's cube delegate. Rubik's cube de delegate. So it's like an agreement, a contrast. Um, so, protocol, uh, Rubik's Cube Delegate, so you will, will um, we'll create something like, uh, Turn, okay, function, turn, uh, no, wait a minute, so, we'll pass in the from colon to colon, mm. so, let's name it finger, move, okay, finger move or finger move finger moves move finger <laughs> move finger yeah naming is is not an easy uh, job so from colon int from row int to colon with colon int and uh, to row int and uh, let's use uh, okay so here the protocol is not like the class or struct we only uh, provide the signature, define the signature of a function without the body. So anyone uh, applied to this protocol promises, right, to provide this function, the service. So who will be the delegate um, is our view controller. So let's move it here yeah so we put our own stuff together so view controller yeah so to apply that we just put the, the thing here so um, Rubik's cube delegate okay wait for a few seconds then yeah the auto fix will pop up so fix it it will add the yeah, because this guy pro promises, right, to 
to provide this but now let's put it in a better place here and uh, clean up here don't need that so that's for here let's print out something just print out okay so we uh, we already have this code in canvas view print out that from go back here so we don't to save some typing here but let's add something here like in I put a C here for controller okay and uh, I'll modify that here put a V here a view so it means this start from the view and the eventually it will get here to the controller and after that we'll pass right pass this message to our M model model to finish the the, the, the task rotation of the a layer of our Rubik's Cube uh, later we'll do that later so now how can we pass the this message from the view to the controller here and um, we'll define a delegate in our view mm -hmm put it here so we are and delegate or rubik cube delegate data type is yeah rubik's cube delegate question mark because it can be new right initially if by default there's no delegate okay so now with that here we can when our touch when our touch is ended we can call this one delegate who rubik's cube delegate no sorry typo rubik's cube delegate it's not this one is this one dot right move finger the question mark means it could be nil right but if it's nil this this line of code will be ignored so it's it's okay we don't need to check if whether it's nil or not because if it's not nil you will do it you will call this function if it is nil this line of code will be ignored so from yeah so from colon is from colon from row is from row it's that this one right and the two colon is this one this guy will will be passed to the two colon and the two row and uh, now if we run the code uh, we are stop here we are stop here because the Rubik's Cube delegate is nil so where do we assign a non-nil object to this guy is here at the beginning of our view did load this is the entry point of like you can think of it in this way here is the starting point of our our app uh, at least in this file and uh, view did load so when the view is ready on the, on, the, on the device screen this one is called so um, we can oh now we need to an object an object to represent the view here so let's do it now We'll do our control drag. So let's create this one. Let's show this one on the other side, side by side. So this is our view, right? K 
canvas view. We'll control drag to here. Outlet, yeah. So our canvas view, canvas view, canvas view will be its name, connect. So this is our, because the view controller, the controller is, is the V of, is the C of the MVC design pattern. So later on, we'll create a model one and put it here. Because model and the view cannot talk to each other, so we'll use controller here, view controller, to be the middleman to coordinate between right, the view and the model. So this one fir appears first. So now with that here, we can assign the Rubik's Cube delegate to who? Ourself, myself, okay? Because this guy uh, promised to apply this protocol, okay? So now after that, it won't be nil. So it won't be nil. So now let's see this one here. When our touch began, uh, touch ended, right? Then this one will be called, and it means the logic the execution will arrive here. Now, let's give it a test. Mm, run it. Let's do a touch from this block to here, okay? Ta -da! Boom. In the view, you see, from 0, 0 to 2, 0, and this, now it arrives to the controller. The same message, right, is passed down to the controller. Very good. So, now let's create our model, um, model data structure. So let's close this one and uh, move it back to here so we can see our beautiful uh, simulator. Oop. Okay, so let's create our model new uh, file. So yeah, switch file. What's the name of that? It's the game engine. What about just Rubik's Cube? Rubik's Cube. That's our game engine. Oh, so struct Rubik's Cube. Um, we should have some, what? Okay. We should have some properties, right, uh, to represent the whole uh, Rubik's cube. But we'll do something else today, and it means we'll create a. We'll create a function here to handle the finger move, so. Let's just use the same signature of our delegate. So it means we'll handle this information. Copy and the Rubik's Cube. Put it here. And then, yeah. So interesting. We can. Sorry for the, my alarm. Okay, so now we can copy this one. And go back to our here. No, our game engine Rubik's Cube. 
and the print the same thing here but this time is m so when the logic right the execution arrives here because we'll handle all the log logic right about the game inside this struct so here is the destination should be the destination of this uh, finger touching message now how can we pass down to this final destination and we'll create an object of this one inside view controller so here um, var root mix cube the data type is of course rubik's cube rubik's cube let's create one this is the only a single instance of this because in the whole application we uh, we only need a single and it's a it can it's very confusing if we have more than uh, one object of this guy this is our game engine so now we start here and we can back pass this information to the rescue dot what yes we cannot see that moving uh, that's because that let's trigger the uh, compilation com command b build okay now let's try it again dot yeah now we can pass down from colon from row then to colon oh and uh, to row let's see if we can see the m right so it's like a view pass the information through the protocol um rubik's cube delegate to the controller then controller can talk to the model directory so it can uh, call the same method right uh, no it's not same as the same name move finger to the model object let's run it that's mm, this time let's try it okay from the top to the bottom Ta -da. yeah everything works as expected so from zero zero to zero two and the, the finger movement right was detected in the view and uh, passed to the middleman then the middleman find the destination of the information the message to m the model okay very good that's it for today see you next time